welcome on in. Hello, hello, hello. I am Kirsten or Filet Mignon and very pleased to be here with you. I literally, as I clicked, you know, the, the transition, um, <laughs> heard my freaking phone do a buzz and I'm like, we were being sneaky. How is everyone doing? Happy Monday. We're like a couple days from September. Okay. Okay. I see you, Virgo season. <laughs> As self-appointed um, queen of the Virgos, you're foam. Exactly. I am foam. Hello, I am foam. Um, <laughs> I am ready. I'm ready for it. I am very excited. I feel like I'm still freaking glistening. What is the... Um, I'm still warm and fuzzy from the Dino Tarot reading that I got a couple weeks ago. Last week? Last week? Um, <laughs> and I feel like I am moving from the, uh, the Three of Wands into that Empress space. We're ready for it. We're ready. We're gonna, we're gonna work, bitch. Um, <laughs> just before I flip us over into the game, um, this week is a little different. I would love a diner reading. Does she do them for points? She does, Ava. Yes. Um, it's a point redeem. Honestly. Okay. Actually, let's start this with a shout out for Dino, first of all. Um, because Dino has the finale of the newest season of her Sims 4 Bachelor Challenge tomorrow over at the Dino Thing channel. Beginning at 5.30 EST, um, Shrek and Axel are vying for the hearts of Tally, and uh, Chance and Lucas are vying for the hearts of Cleo. I'm going to need you on my side. I fucking hate Chance and want Lucas to win. Golden Retriever Boy for Cat Girl. It's perfect. So, <laughs> um, anyway, I think right at right the top, the top of stream tomorrow in Dino's Bachelor Challenge is the perfect time to get a reading, right? She's always setting up. She's taking sips. She's getting things ready. Hey, Dino, we're talking about you. <laughs> that is the perfect time to pop in. Um, let me flip us over. You have been summoned. Yeah, it was that classic foam summoning. Um, <laughs> uh, we are in the game. It is 1901. Um, and sweet little baby Valentina has aged up. Hey, Trichy Squirrel. I'm doing well today. Thank you. How about you? Are you, are you at cafe and diamond arting today? Are you up to more, um, what was it that you had said last time? You had chores or you had, um, like errands to attend to. How's the day going? It's one o'clock on a Monday. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling strong. <laughs> Um, yes, so right now, 1901, we've got Sweet Baby Diego. I'm going to go put him to bed. We have 15,000 simoleons, which is more money than we've, like, ever had ever in this game. I'm just going to pop everybody back into bed for a hot second. And Valentina has aged up, and, um, she is a miniature Bella goth. Like, let me get in here. Let me show you. Look at this. Toe to tip. That's a Bella goth. Freaking baby. She basically has all of Marjorie's um, traits, like the skin, the wavy hair, but she got daddy's eyes. I'm good. You already know what I'm up to today. Other than that, I met with a potential dog sitting client and got the booking. <gasps> Phenomenal. Well done, Twitchy Squirrel. And yeah, Dino, I freaking love her. I am so... I am in love with Valentina. Oh, and uh, of course, for queen of the poops, right? She is absolutely a fussy toddler. Diego was independent. Mm -hmm. Valentina is fussy. It's perfect. She wants to be friendly with mom. Okay, we can absolutely do that. Yeah, she's a fussy toddler. She's going to be an absolute mess. Somehow, I guess I forgot to give her a, a sleeping outfit. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. This is fine. Just popping everyone back into bed. It's only going to be like an hour of sleep before we're up to do farm chores. Um, farm chores. 
Boys on the farm doing farm chores. Um, I see those birds eating bugs out there. It's gonna da 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 da. Um, yeah, we're gonna just play as Diego. He's the only one up right now. And it's Sunday, so he doesn't have to go off to school until tomorrow. So we get like, oh, fuck. Okay, 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 okay. Diego took after his dad and was a little egg and milk pant boy. Slept with a couple bottles of milk in his bed. Luckily, they did not spoil. Fucking guy. Right? Diego is a sweet little man. I, I love Diego. I've been working on the same diamond art piece for over a month. Wow. What piece is that, Twitchy Squirrel? Is this, um, you were done the cat. Is this the roses? Um... I'm just trying to find the right spot for this stinky potty. That should work. That should work. Um, Dad is going to have to get up soon enough. Young Diego Milk Pockets. <laughs> Heir to the Milk Pockets fortune. Ah, Phenomenal. Uh -huh. Mom is up and she's going to go downstairs to use the bathroom so that she doesn't scar sweet little baby Diego. It's stained glass flowers. I'll post it in the Discord when I'm done. I'm so excited to see that. That's going to be amazing. Oh. Um, the other thing that's pretty exciting, I think this is the beginning of winter. It is. Oh, shit. Winter fest is tomorrow? No, that's way too early to have Christmas. Let me, let me make, let me make Christmas tomorrow so that, you know, winter fest. Um, so that we have at least one more day to deal with it, and then can decide. Um, okay, for Winterfest, we will do open presents. Um, invite guests. Yeah, I think that can be it. That's perfect. I'll get rid of the, the early Winterfest. Get out of here. Those holidays really sneak up. They totally do! Like... Harvest Fest just happened, and suddenly we're in Winterfest? No, no, no. This is not... Theoretically, it is America, so I guess that is normal. But as a Canadian, I'm like, no. Harvest Fest is in October with Spooky Day. Winterfest is in December. You have a month to prepare for them. A little late. Work was doing things. No problem, Sam. I've said it once. I've said it before. No such thing as late to a stream. Thank you for popping in work was doing things are the things good are we okay uh -huh. um mom is also doing pretty well so i might just put her put her to work get a couple of uh a couple of farm chores done while diego eats is it snowing? it's surely not snowing um clean shed let me see how everybody's doing okay she's gonna go attend to cusco He's dirty, he's unhappy, we're gonna clean him, and then we can shear him. Ah, and I see Papa is awake. Marjorie is the only one prepared for the day. Everybody else is far too stinky. Oh, and sweet babby Valentina Zem asked for Tuesday off to make super long weekend, and they said, no, we're too far behind on work that isn't mine. Oh, oh no, Zem. That sucks. I won't even have Tuesday off for a super long, long weekend. Tuesday, first day back on campus, a uh, baby. Ah, shit. Dad just broke something. Dad, can you can you not break the toilet? I'm just gonna replace it. We're being wasteful as hell. Yeah, but that's different. This is true. You really have not had a break all summer, Sam. Um, and you deserve it. You haven't told Donut yet. Oh. Aw, Zem. Um, Daddy. Daddy, go downstairs. Daddy. Why did you eat my fries? Um, Marjorie's so cool and gorgeous. I agree. She's so good. I am in love with her. Marjorie uh, runs the show over here. I'm sorry to hear that, Zem. You deserve a break. Absolutely. On plus size, Kitty is settling in well. Phenomenal. I am very glad to hear that, Zem. Um, he's happy, he's full, he's content. 
Let me just milk filet mignon. It's really weird to say that. Um, <laughs> let me just attend to the things that are out here. Collect eggs. And Diego, you gotta get out here. You gotta start cleaning the sheds, baby. That's your job. Um, we're gonna wait to buy anything for him for a week or so to make sure that bro doesn't secretly want him back. I think that's absolutely the right call, Zem. However, I'm I'm excited for you and Donut to have essentially adopted Kitty. Um, I think he's going to have a really, really great quality of life with you two. Oh, the cat's here. Well, go, go attend to Pickles, baby. He's going to teach you how to speak English. He's going to teach you how to speak, Valentina. This cat, truly the third parent of the household. Sister-in-law was definitely done with him. Oh, sister. What a mess, right? A father or a father-in-law, a, a brother-in-law who does not really want baby and who has baby, a sister-in-law who does not really want cat who has cat. Uh, hey, Papa, uh, I need you. Dinkelberg! Fuck. Annex, you got me! Hello! How is it going? Can you fucking give me a big scare, why don't you? Um, how is it going today, Annex? Mom is making sure all our chickies are ready, they're happy, they're thriving. Um, and let's go check on the littlest chicken, Marie Chicky. I love that you say fudge when I join the cat, fudge you too. Thank you, thank you, and thank you for the hydrate there, Twitchy Squirrel. Go back to check on Valentina. Okay, Dad's got her. Dad, give give little princess a little hug. Little oh, she's so sweet. She's gotta eat, so we've gotta take her downstairs. This girl immediately has dad wrapped around her pinky. Ooh, I'm doing well. Clear. Dinner's done in 25 to 30 minutes. That sounds so good. Oh, amazing. Noah has level four parenting. So we're going to pick her up, take her downstairs, and put her in the high chair. Like, we've eaten, so it's like, hey, hey, Margie, hey, Marge, hey, Marge. Um, going to need you to attend to the baby, why don't you? Let me make sure everybody's happy. Yep, okay, we'll go clean filet mignon. We'll go milk her. I hate, I hate saying it. I have been cursed. <laughs> Um, and mom will grab some food. Oh, Noah, kids. get changed. Let's get on the farm, baby boy. Oh, um, and Illinois. then go to the garden. <laughs> Phenomenal. Work's going well. I only work until Wednesday this week, getting rid of some extra hours. Hell yeah! That's very excited. I want a bite of filet mignon, don't we all? <laughs> um, let me grab a serving for Valentina make sure that pickles is fed marjorie really does the most on this freaking farm Can Kubu it's Koiba? really like oh, if yes. marjorie were not here things would be going really bad <laughs> serena over on youtube really did have the right idea she was like let me pursue she saw how much trouble i was having saying milk betty white and was like ha 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 you look beautiful again today. Thank you, Annex. Oh, I so appreciate that. Let's let this stinky girl use her, use her diaper. Um, and then I sort of want her to throw a fit immediately. <laughs> Is that bad? I'm like, yeah, yeah. Let me have an absolute disaster child, right? <laughs> Right? Mom, get those in here. Um, we will we'll come let you out then, Valentina. We'll let you out. I am creating my own disaster. We love to see it. Let me also open a picnic for everyone. Um, we're going on a picnic. It is our community's version of heisting. To join us on the picnic, all you have to do is go exclamation mark picnic space and enter any amount of points up to 10,000. Valentina is enraged. She wants to be listened to from being a fussy toddler. I'm surprised she didn't throw her freaking dish across the room. Um, Diego, 
please, please attend to your sister. This is one of your new jobs. Diego is in charge of cleaning all of the sheds and also talking to Valentina. <laughs> oh, I think she is really sweet, but I'm with a fussy toddler whose name is Valentina. I am ready for the drama. Right? Oh, okay. Mother-in-law's calling. Thank you for suggesting I hang out with Scarlett Young. We had a spectacular time. Phenomenal. Mom is going to get started, I think, on probably some presents for Winterfest, knowing that that's coming up. Um, I wish that we had some slightly less cutesy options, but like... I think a knitted gift could be really, really sweet for Winterfest. Um, so we're going to make a turtle. Turtle for one of the kids and something for the other. Uh, let's go teach some shapes to Valentina. Phenomenal. Phenomenal use of Diego. Right? Use Diego. Use Diego. Emily Chickenson's time. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Let's attend to Pickles as well. See our boy, give him kisses, scratch his spots. Um, that picnic is probably closing. So, if you want to join us, again, all you have to do, exclamation mark picnic, space, any amount of points, up to 10,000. Have they thought about another child? Oh, indeed. Okay, so only packed enough sandwiches for half, half the chat. It's going to be... Dino, Annex, Flam, and Zim. Oh no, that's everyone but Twitchy Squirrel! And Streamlabs, I swear. Um, can I tend these? Yes, I can. What's happening over here with you, Filet Mignon? Wait, okay, she is a, still a young adult. I will then fill her feed. So, Zim, I feel like Valentina's really only a year, two years old. Uh, as of like this this stream so I think they might be waiting on having another child but at the end of last stream they did in fact um, they did in fact try for another pregnancy we'll see I guess if it's taken hold um, no knowing but they got lucky with Valentina right like she was really the first try um, Rude Stream Labs calling it half the chat, right? It's okay. I was having good luck last week, so it's my turn to suffer. <laughs> that 100% is the right way of thinking about it, Twitchy Squirrel. Your glow-in-the-dark chicken has a hat on. Random sentences only in The Sims. Oh my god. <sighs> Classic Sims, right? Um, I, Annex, truthfully, I am still floored. I apologize in bed being an option in this frickin' game. That's too wild. Let me also see what Valentina's needs are. Um, we're actually just gonna sit here with them for a sec. I'm gonna go on mute because the dogs are screaming. Give me just a second. Oh my god. Someone came to the front door. How don't people know by now? Fucking leave us alone! We have a sign on the front of our house saying no solicitation. It doesn't stop them. <laughs> Freaking our poor little terriers. Sweet little babies. Truly losing it. Um, thank you for adding Bork there, Zem. Or not Zem. Or uh, Dino. Dino, thank you for adding the Bork. Um, let me check. She's still angry? Valentina! Miss Valentina, I need you to learn how to say sorry, babe. <laughs> um, and Dad, how's it going out here? Happy, content, happy, content. We're doing fine. Emily Chickenson, I'm probably gonna have to take her clothes soon so that, you know, she can die. <laughs> Um, yes! Oh my god, Annex, I did see how many likes that tweet got, and I was incredibly jealous. 
Well done. Are there like Jehovah's Witnesses in Canada? Is that a thing? I think it is a thing in Canada as well. Um, I know that a girl my mom taught growing up was a Jehovah's Witness. Um, but I think this was just plain old like, hey, is your refrigerator running type of nonsense. Um, what can I have Sweet Diego do? I want him to like learn some skills. And he knows how to do nothing. Um, can't even practice. Jeez, Diego. Okay, well, go sit there. Attend to pickles while I figure out what I can do with a child. <laughs> I've never, ever had that many likes. Not even a tenth of that. Oh, hell yeah. Annex, that's so cool. Um, I, I have been fortunate with some likes in the past, but it's usually when people tweet something about Lord of the Rings and they're like, Aragorn's the hottest, and I post the same compilation image. I photoshopped it years ago. I've posted it a couple times now. It's of Gimli, and it's um, that screenshot from The Simpsons where it's do it for her with all of the photos of Maggie overlaying a sign in Homer's office that's like, don't forget you're here forever. Do it for her. <laughs> and <laughs> I changed it so that all the photos are different photos of Gimli. And every time I post it, it does pretty well, but not quite that well. Need to go see this tweet. It was wild! Okay, now let me actually take Miss Valentina upstairs and work on potty training her since that's going to be something. Okay, we're feeling playful with pickles. This is great. Um, it's a shitty tweet. All the pics I put effort into are like meh, and then this stupid thing gets over a thousand likes. Classic. Yeah, absolutely classic. Um, and dad's feeling great, though a little scrubbly doubly because it's dirty in here. Um, honestly? I might have him come sit in here. I've been working on a handiness book um, with Papa. Um, but I had leveled him up to handiness level 3 with the book. Um, and he was like, this one's too hard. So I have to have him read frickin' level 2 again. Oh, and I love that he's in here playing with his horse, my sweet little guy. Oh, okay. So I feel like we should mention it because um, it's everywhere right now. The Gregory brothers um, are the, the masterminds behind Chrissy Wake Up. And I think Chrissy Wake Up is a really, really great sound bite. And like its virality is totally natural, right? The way that it's developed into other things. Cool. The Gregory brothers did it again and they took a clip from um, the recess interviews of that sweet little boy being like, it's corn, a big hunk with knobs, it has the juice, it has the juice. I can't imagine a more beautiful thing, oh. right? And it was already a cute yes. clip. The, the clip was already oh, a viral yes. clip. The Gregory Brothers have turned it into a song. <laughs> Thank you so much for the Why follow gosh. there. Um, no moosh. Let us know how to pronounce your name or if there is a, uh, a shortened version of your username that you prefer. Anyway, this It's Corn song by the Gregory Brothers, which is an edit of the interview, has sort of immediately gotten on my nerves. Where I'm like, people are just jumping onto this because of the virality of Chrissy Wake Up. Like, they just think it's going to be viral that way. And I'm like, it's a cute segment, and it's a good little song, but the fact like that people have dogpiled on it already, I'm like, it's corn. A big hunk with knobs. It has the juice. It has the juice. I can't imagine a more wonderful thing. It's like, I love it, but seeing people apply it to things that it's totally not suited to, like... Like, just to promote their businesses because they think it's going to be viral, I'm like... Oh, Internet, no! Leave my corn song out of this! Leave my corn song be gone, corporate thoughts! Um, okay, mom is gonna go to the washroom. 
Zem, I'm surprised you've not heard the horn song. For the most part, Zem and I like share a for you page. Every every time I see something, Zem sees it and she's like, oh, Kirsten would like this and sends it to me. And she's right. <laughs> People really are using it on crochet stuff. And I'm like, how? Yeah, exactly, Thrifty. I, I love it. It's fine. Uh, don't thank me. You deserve it for real. You can call me Noe if you want. Thank you so much, Noe. Welcome on in. Um, I was deep into techno Mongolian throat singing last night. Oh, Zem, only you. Oh, phenomenal. Um, and I'll just collect the eggs out there. Um, Thrifty, I know exactly the video you're talking about. Welcome in, Noe. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's like, I get it, and I appreciate it because I, too, can't imagine a more wonderful thing than corn, right? Like, this sweet little boy, it is great, 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 great to use. But the fact that it's gone viral, mostly because people are just expecting it to go viral and are like, I want to get in on this and use it for my... <sighs> Makes me mad. Correction, only me and Donut. That's so sweet. Yeah, of course! You'll find everybody's chill. We love it. Chat, very, very welcoming. Gosh, the corn boy is a beautiful Aww. soul. Exactly. What gets me, though, is the virality of it, right? It's been a week, maybe, since the original video surfaced. And corn boy has already done a collab Fire. with Chipotle, where it's a corporate video of him ordering a bowl and saying no to every single topping in the Chipotle bar. And then they get to the corn and he goes, it's corn. And I'm like, this boy deserves the world. I'm so happy for him. I want him to get that Chipotle money. It makes me feel so dirty. The Chipotle's already all over it though. Yeah, yeah, they're already on it. Ah. Whereas Chrissy wake up, right? Like it started quite slow, which was part of why I liked it. Ah, it's corn. We're feeling very meditative. Honestly, I do think Noah has a favorite, and I think it is Valentina, right? He has been spending a lot of time with her, more so than he spent with Diego. I'm gonna have Marjorie. Aw, oh, shit, Diego! Buddy, I get it. I get you. I love you. I appreciate you. He just, especially now with a new baby in the house, I'm like, Diego, no, why are you fucking things up? Daddy's girl. Mm -hmm. I've never seen Flam so pumped up about something, and it's corn. <laughs> a big hunk with knobs. It has the juice. It has the juice. And it's such an earworm, right? Because the Gregory brothers are good. They're good at writing music. <sighs> and it's just being used for evil. It kills me. Um, he's just gonna grab a little bit of aubergine parm, I think. And honestly, I might have everybody get a little bit of aubergine parm. Yeah, Valentina's awake, so we'll pick her up. Oh, baby! Let me come get you. This is okay. Um, mom is just gonna replace it. Come down and have some dinner. Valentina down here. Thank you for the lurk there, Annex. It's corn. Noe, I swear to you, we don't usually talk about corn this much. But it is a big hunk with knobs that has the juice. <laughs> this is exactly what happened, though, when Chrissy Wake Up was popular, right? Where it was all that I could think about. It was all that was in my mind. Terrible. <gasps> oh, Diego! He went upstairs so that he could sit with his dad and his sister, only for them to leave to go eat their dinner downstairs. Baby boy! That kills me. He is absolutely precious. And then we're gonna go to sleep. Um, he's a good boy. Diego is really, really special. Social bunny, get out of here. It's 1901. Unless Noah is cleaning up. Oh, he is! He said, oh, I'll take care of the dishes, honey. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. What amazing help. He 
That man's touching a boob tonight, I swear. I'm not sure if this will translate well or if you know the TikTok, but I keep thinking of the TikTok where he's like, and this is Valentina, she's an ally. Speak, Valentina. Ally! I, I feel like I've maybe seen it once before. I... Griffy, if you can find that TikTok, I gotta see it. Please put it in the frickin' Discord. It's corn. A big hunk with knobs. It has the juice. It has the juice. I can't imagine a more wonderful thing. I feel like Valentina is going to be the sort of toddler, though, where, like, Diego does not necessarily get along with her. But, like, Mom loves Diego- or loves Diego- loves Valentina already. Dad getting closer and closer to Valentina. Phenomenal. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Fucked up today. Fucked up today. Damn it. I don't know if we properly went down. The KBS are back. But I forgot to start recording, which is... That's on me, right? That's absolutely on me. Um... Dad on the mean hand. Meanwhile, we're gonna go tuck in sweet baby boy. It was a minor hiccup. We good. Okay, good, 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 good. I always worry. Um, and I've started to record the streams, right? So that I have a version of the stream um, that won't be cut if OBS drops down and it cuts the streams into parts. I want to make sure that I have a version where it doesn't do that. And it doesn't work so well when you forget to start recording it at the top. Posted in memes. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Thrifty. Tuck that little baby in. Dad, tuck this little baby in. <laughs> and then you better believe we're gonna go to a woohoo with number one dad over here. He's doing really well. Um, And we want to talk about our fears okay i figured tomorrow monday right that's going to be when we invite over althea we try to mend bridges um yeah noah's whole character trait his character arc is just farming <laughs> which we love to see Meaning anxiety from fear of unfulfilled dreams fascinating okay are neither of you going to go do a woohoo what's happening Woohoo time, let's go. No more talking, only woohoo. Woohoo time, let's go. Yeah, yeah, good job. Okay. Then while they are attending to that, let me open another picnic for us. Noe, picnicking is our community's version of heisting. So to join us on a picnic, uh, which is just a heist mini game, all you have to do is go exclamation mark picnic space and enter any amount of points up to 10,000. However, um, if you're newer to chat, right, you probably don't have 10,000 points to bet with. I'd recommend starting a little lower with about 100 to 1,000. Okay. Um, and then mom's gonna go to sleep too. Phenomenal. I am still very much interested in potentially adopting a sim into the household. Um, so try for baby, all good. But since we've got like 15,000 simoleons, we might get a little typewriter and use that to um, see about fulfilling an adoption brief. It's corn, a big hunk with knobs. It has the juice. As a reminder, we are on a picnic. It is our community's <laughs> version of heisting. To join us on the picnic before it closes, all you have to do, go exclamation mark picnic, space, any amount of points up to 10,000. Corn. Ooh, we got some orange pumpkins. We got some green pumpies. Looks like we got lots of aubergine. Yes, Twitchy Squirrel, get in that picnic. Phenomenal. Looks like dad might be the first one up. Um, yeah, phenomenal, wonderful. He wants to be friendly with Marjorie. I can absolutely do that, my guy. And then we'll get him into his cold weather outfit. One of them. He's got like two coats. And then send him right down. We're going to grab some produce. And honestly, 
I think we could probably already go into um, Penford on Bagley today. Excuse me. Oh, only packed enough sandwiches for half the chat. This time it's going to be Flam, Twitchy Squirrel, Thrifty, Dino, and Zem. Who was excluded this time? Thrifty, Zem. Oh no, it's everyone but Ava! Streamlabs is a little mean today. Streamlabs really did say, no, 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 no. I'm excluding one person at a time. Thank you very much. He wants to make something. Hmm. Hmm. I think children are allowed to knit. Um, I don't know what skills, what skills little children can do. Right, Ava? Oh, it's not, it was not particularly nice. Um, and then let me change his outfit, get him in some cold weather wear, um, and we're gonna go help dad out there with everything. I'm sure the chickens already need to get some feed. Yep. Scatter feed nearby. Slightly dirty. We have to clean the sheds. That is, right, part of Noah's day-to-day -day duties on the farm. Okay. I wonder if she's pregnant because her needs have already gone down significantly. And uh, one of the things in the Lumpenau uh, fertility mod is that when you're pregnant, right, the... Um, <sighs> the needs go down a little bit faster for pregnant That's sims nauseous. like it would in sims 2. uh-oh annex did something stupid today what did you do sometimes you bang and you get pregnant. yeah what i have to look up the classic name hold on uh wiki how am i pregnant um what is that classic, oh my God, the classic meme where it's like, I am Pergante. Fuck. Um, classic meme, am I pregnant? Please, please internet, please. Images. Come on, come on, come on, give it to me. Give me all of the list. Um, Oh, that's gonna kill me. I basically just have to go. <sighs> oh, yeah. I'm actually grocery shopping right now. Aldi delivery. Ooh, Dino. <laughs> hell yeah. Um, I went grocery shopping. Stupid part. I was hungry. Oh no. Yep. Things things that maybe should not have made it into your basket are probably in the basket. Love to see that though. How much chocolate did you get? Does Aldi have chocolate? I don't, I don't think we have Aldi here in Ontario. I've never heard of Aldi. Um, I'm going to have to make some breakfast. None yet, but good idea. Chocolate's always a good idea, for real. Honestly, I am hoping for a chocolate bar for my birthday. It's usually something that my mom will do because uh, it was something my Oma and Opa would do for her growing up. So I'm like, come on, chocolate bar. Come on, chocolate bar. Okay, uh, we can do a family size. It's corn, a big lump with knobs. It has the juice. It has the juice. I can't imagine a more wonderful thing. Okay, everything's getting clean out here. Uh, fine, fine, clean. Um, fine. Rooster really going to town. Collect eggs. Clean the coop. And then daddy, daddy, um, grab everything on the plants. How could you go shopping without chocolate? <laughs> My wallet and I don't love to see that. How could you go shopping without chocolate? That's the whole purpose of shopping. The rest is just to pretend to be an adult. Absolutely true, Annex. You're right as always. Lol, for not loving that song. It sure does seem like you love the song. Here's the thing, I love the song. I think it's a great song. I think it's a legitimate Minaj? earworm, right? Like, it's phenomenal. I hate the way that people have flocked to using it. And like, of course, of course they were going to. This man really does have trouble with trees. Oh shit, Diego went to school! He took the eggs! Diego, what the fuck? You didn't even have breakfast, my boy. Um, okay. Let's get some oversized 
crops. Uh, for winter, I feel like mushrooms would be good. For one day in the winter. Maybe some more eggplant. I would really like to get a big eggplant. I think that would be funny. <laughs> um, it's corn. It truly, it's one of those things where it's just going to be in the back of my mind. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, looks like we're just going to be uh, plant oversized crop, mushroom, oversized crop, aubergine, oversized crop, mushroom. Mushroom, mushroom. Did you say the song's an earworm? Uh, when I used that word in the States, they all looked at me weirdly. My guy, I don't know what to tell you. I know, I know the word earworm. That's a normal word for me. Yeah. Shit, baby, go to the pot. Oh. Okay, use your diaper. Ooh, horrible. <laughs> Who doesn't want a big eggplant? Absolutely true, Annex. Who doesn't? Um, I, I would really like to have a full set of oversized perfect vegetables, right? We have an heirloom, is it pumpkin? Like an heirloom oversized pumpkin that I love and I'm so thankful for. I want all of them. I'm being incredibly greedy about it. I have the girthiest zucchini in the house right now. <laughs> I learned song stuck in my head. Earworm's better. Earworm is so much better. Um, Zem, I'm going to need you to define girthiest zucchini to us. Ooh, okay, we're ready to hatch more than one little chickie. Um, so I figure mom will go upstairs. We're gonna grab and change Valentina. Um, change her diapy. I think that's actually under toddler care. Come on. Yeah, she needs a, a, a potty change and then we're gonna give her a bath and then take her down um, for her breakfast. Okay, Papa, uh, water everything. Let's go. Ah, uh, Emily Chickenson is going to have to go today as well. That's something I'm not excited about. But we're doing okay. Everything's fine. Everything's great and good and fine. Popcorn. Buffalo. Oh, Marie Chicky is a full-grown lady now. Phenomenal. Same with my muscles are sore after the gym. In Germany, we say... M muscle cat. <laughs> that's fun that's a good one i could certainly appreciate that round of my wow wow the freaking the zucchini is as girthy as your fist that's a frightening zucchini <laughs> valentina here's the thing not to play favorites as well Considering she is a fussy toddler, she's a lot easier to deal with than Diego. He um, he would fight us about baths. He was never too happy about it. Valentina's being a total cutie. Muscle cat, German word, would be Muscelkata. Okay. Man. Gotta, gotta hand it to the German words, right? Things like Schmetterling. Delicious, wonderful, perfect word. Okay, sweet baby. Let me go put you in your high chair. Get some food for Valentina. No, no, Pickles, not right now. I gotta put... Pickles is very, very serious about it. Oh, Mr. Man, he really did come in here. He just wanted to have some attention. I will give you an attention, Pickles. Don't you worry. I just have to take care of everybody else first. Um, let me call over filet mignon. Gotta make sure everybody's clean and good and fine. And then I am gonna have to send... It'll probably be when Noah goes to Henford to, um, you know, sell things today that... <laughs> Marjorie will get rid of. Play <sighs> Mignon, why must you always come over here? I want to help you. I just want to help you. Call over Fusco. Um, adult fine, adult fine. 
Yeah, let's clean off Cusco first. Give Cusco some food. Do I have any treats I can give Cusco? No, so I'm definitely going to want to look into that as well. And then we'll shear him. Um, okay, grab a serving for Valentina. Miss Valentina, the ally. She's feeling energized. We're feeling strong, happy. And her, you know, she's doing well with her skills. Can you make treats? Aww. I can make treats. Um, I just, you know, Noah is the one who sort of knows the treat recipes. Um, so it's almost like I don't want to waste him on making the treats. Um, I would prefer to use him to do the things Boy, on the Shadow? farm, right? I think Marjorie might know a couple of treat recipes, and we could absolutely use her to try and make them. Um, fill and call pickles to eat. Miss Valentina's eating. Good, 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 good. Dad is definitely getting hungry. Let's put out some feed. Um, and then we will hatch the eggs. And I gotta take care of filet mignon. But the problem is she keeps, you know, moving right over to an inaccessible corner of the pen. Floney. Huh? Floney. Hatch these freaking eggs. Let's go, baby. I'm so excited for this. Oh. Oh, not so cheap cheap. We've got a very good little operation going on here with, you know, the the raising of chickens. And is this one not also? Yeah, let's hatch the other egg too. Okay. Let me clean you, filet mignon. Please, filet mignon. Why is mom pissed? Losing control. Oh, because I'm not attending to you. That is on me. Such a lovely and wholesome moment. Right? I think it's so sweet. Sims has... It has some very, very good moments. Um, something I have been seeing on Twitter, I'm feeling very fortunate. There is right now a glitch where toddlers age up with the exact same face. Of regardless of like how genetics want them to look. Um, I have been fortunate enough to not encounter that. Once he's done scattering that feed, I'm actually going to go into the build mode just to fix this quickly. Because um, I'll just move something over, right? I'll move the shed over. I don't mind if it overlaps a bit. I'd rather be able to feed flam. There's uh, my glow-in-the-dark chicken, my golden chicken, because I got two of them. Um, wa -na -na -na. Baby, move objects on. Objects off. Da, 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 da. Oh, it was a rooster chick. Okay, so one of the chicks that we just hatched, little baby rooster. That's actually good. I think Cockburn's an adult. Yeah, so we'll probably have another rooster instead of having to buy one, which is helpful. Um, okay. I'm gonna put this back on the back side where it was. It doesn't get a lot of use, but um, I figure if and when we fire, fire when we hire a farmhand, it might be a little bit easier for Marjorie to do things, right? Like, go make some flowers. Make flowers, you know what I mean. There we go. Okay, he should be able to access Blam. <laughs> Blam the cow now. Um, clean her up. Yeah, there we go. Everything's good in the state of Denmark. And Valentina is in need of some fun. Um, let me actually send Valentina over here. She's gonna toddle her way on, toddle her way on over. <laughs> um, 
and I will, you know, have her interact with the chickens and the, the livestock and everything. Yeah, okay, we're pissed now. Jeez. Marjorie, chill. Chill, 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 chill. I'm going to invite your friend over. I was going to wait. We'll invite your friend over. If it'll help calm you down. Chat with Althea. Let's go wait out front for her. Yeah, Althea's coming over. So, this wants and fears thing really has messed up with my sims. They're just, like, absolutely hulking out. My sims are more sad or angry than they used to be. Yeah, 100% it is because of wants and fears. If you don't do the things that they tell you they want to do, even if it doesn't make any sense for them to do it, they get angry. It's a it's a stupid buff. It needs some work. Um, I'm going to tell her to pursue her dream job. Right? I don't want her to flirt with Esteban. She doesn't want to flirt with Esteban either. But... Wants and Fears is like, oh, I know better than you. No, you don't. Um, that must be it. I don't like my sims being angry at me. I also don't like them being angry at me. And I like having control, right? I don't like them telling me, oh, I know what I want. And I'm like, no, you think you're in the 21st century. I know that you're in 1901. Hey, coffee. How's it going? What's up, coffee? We're gonna go sit here together, maybe. Right? The point of the game is control. Yes, absolutely. The fact that they didn't even give us the ability to exit out of a want and re-roll it, ridiculous to me. Um, okay. Noah, let's milk Filet Mignon. And we are gonna talk to some little chicks and chickies, I think. Bok bok to rooster chick? Absolutely we can. And we're gonna bok bok at the hen chick. Perfect. We're a bunch of gamers with a god complex. Let us be. Yes, exactly. How is your day going, coffee? I don't know if these hen chickies really love us. We're gonna babble at Cusco. And then let me actually see about having Noah play a little bit with Valentina. She needs a little bit of attention. Uh, you're eating brunch. Ooh, what is your brunch coffee? Are you having leftovers? Yeah, none of the animals like Valentina. I swear, all of the animals like Diego. None of them. None of them are vibing with my baby girl. Oh, Diego's back. Um... He's doing satisfactory work, but his teachers think he could easily improve with a bit more effort. Okay. Um, there's a potion in the Aspiration Store that re-rolls your wants if you're having real issues. That's really helpful. Uh, Amira Faye, thank you so much. Welcome on in. I might honestly look into it. I think Marjorie has enough Aspiration Points that we could get something. They're very annoying. Yeah, want refresher. Let's grab that. And there's a fear be gone. Okay. Interesting. Let me use that. Thank you so much for the recommendation there, Amira. Um, let me know if you have a preferred version of your username that you like. I, I love Faye. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. We want to collect a new crystal, absolutely, and make a new friend. Well, Althea is here. So let's actually try to utilize her. Um... Oh, lock the camera. There she is. Okay, let's let's call over, right? Let's talk. Let's try to build a friendship. We had been in a finishing school with her. Oh God, she's gonna play badly. I think we'd been in finishing school with her, and we had just sort of fallen out of touch with one another um, when Marjorie got Bobini. married and had children. Um, she Down even came to our wedding, right? She was a bridesmaid at our wedding. Um, and then, sweet little baby boy, he's doing well. We're going to have him do his homework. And he had a couple eggs on him. I'm going to pop these into the fridge so that Noah can sell them. 
Okay, Valentina needs more fun. Hibs, Hibs, Tombra. Papa, please grab her. Let's take her back to the house. I think everybody's doing well otherwise. Yeah, we're all doing well otherwise. Um, and he's ready for some food, so let me actually see how she's doing. She's good on the food. She just needs fun. She needs attention. I think Pickles needs attention. Everybody is a, a little bit sore for attention in the household. Papa, don't preach. I'm in trouble deep. Um, let me see what mom can cook. She did bacon and eggs this morning, but I think we finished those. Um, so we're going to have to figure out something for supper. Oh, those Yorkshire puddings always seem so appealing. Um, chips and salsa, brigadeiro. Um, I sort of do wish. It just wouldn't show me the options I can't cook. Um, chocolate chip cookie sounds so good right now as well. It's summer. Or no, not summer. It's winter. It's the opposite of summer. Let's make some mushroom soup. I think um, a verdant mushroom soup would be really fun. And we have enough to do a family size again. So we don't necessarily have enough for Althea to join us, but we should be okay otherwise. My dad brought a local plate of Mexican food. There's beans and rice, uh, al pastor. When saying pastor, you gotta say it in Spanish, al pastor. Um, pastor is pig meat and it's my favorite. Ooh, some pork, love to see it. That sounds really good coffee. I... Oh, he just rolled a want. He wants to eat because he's very hungry. Don't worry, I've got, you know, I've got mom on the case. Let me have Valentina go chat with Althea. Talk to stranger. <laughs> um, right, while well, mom's busy, Diego's doing homework, dad's in the shower, we're gonna talk to the fancy stranger. I sort of, I think that Valentina, she's a little mini Bella Goth. I definitely think she has the potential to be a very dramatic, fashionable lady. And I sort of love that for her. Um, and this could be, you know, the place where she's picking that up from. Needs amusement, stranger danger. Babe. Okay, go, go play. Dad food. No one's starving on my watch. Let's eat. Doesn't that sound really, really good, Annex? I think coffee always has the best food. I need to get some salsa. My dad forgot to bring it, so I used a bit of Valentina. Oh, you used a bit of ba Valentina. I've got a bit of Valentina right here. <laughs> coffee always makes us hungry, Amira. Oh my gosh. this up reminder get a sip of water if you have not hydrated get on it ay, 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 ay. okay Diego's all done his homework sometimes right you have to attend to the parents first where has Althea gone off to oh she's waiting that's really helpful let me go out there I just want to talk to her I think, you know, um, I think Marjorie is trying quite hard to try and reclaim a little bit of, like, her fanciness, her fashionable side. She's like, well, my friend is here. I, I want to I wanna do things with my friend. I don't necessarily want to be farm wife and mother. Um, what can I say except you're welcome? I'm gonna head home from the cafe. I'll come and say hi once I'm home. Travel safe, Twitchy Squirrel. I hope it all goes well. And I can't wait to see you when you're back. We will enthuse about cooking. Um, and then let's. Oh, geez. We're having a hard time. What if we compliment her outfit? Um, friendly. Yeah. Ask about her day, maybe? 
love flam singing thank you coffee always does throw the best suggestions at us so we have no no choice right we have to we have to sing along um all over please i am trying to become your friend again it's been so long since we've seen her and she really does not want anything to do with us um share lifestyle tips technophobe I hate seeing the phones lately. Yishla. Uh -huh. Pickles Shishtawa. also need some attention. And we can we can help with that. Let's pet. Let's ask what's wrong. Um, I don't think he's sick. Because the game would have told me if he is. Jeez. Valentina, use your diaper. Use your diaper, Valentina. She's doing well otherwise. She thinks we snubbed her. Honestly, probably. And what's fun is Althea was never interested in Noah. She walked out of the bar. bar the barn. She walked out of the barn and then just like... Just completely eliminated herself from the running for founder. And um, we have... It, it is fair, right? We've not been nearly as attentive to her as a friend should be. Um, other sims. Ask about another sim. Let's ask about, uh, ooh, if she's heard about Charity. Charity getting married to the mayor of Strangerville is some big news. Um, oh, Annex and Coffee are singing. I like Charity. She's pretty cool. We also like Charity. Um, look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Yes. And then Annex is continued uh, with, uh -huh. Wouldn't you think I'm the guy? The guy who has everything. Yes. <laughs> um, let me see if I can do deep conversation. Cannot see if I have anything I can give her. <laughs> Friendly gift. Um, yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. I really don't have anything I can give her. I'm just trying to make her a friend. How about some wax? Would you like some wax? How would you feel about wax? Would that help with our friendship at all? Okay, uh, Diego, I'm gonna go tell you to go play in the bath. Um, can't tell if in-game cat or IRL cat, Zem, I swear, that's gonna be weird from now on, right? Like, <laughs> The distinction between in-game cat and IRL cat, too close. Too too difficult to determine. Um, it has the juice. I can imagine a more wonderful thing. It's corn. Okay, I think that went well. Tell unbelievable story. Um, Annex, look at this trove. Treasures I'm told. How many wonders can one cavern hold? Looking around here, you'd think, sure, uh -huh. she's got everything. Actually, just on that note, Coffee, What's has anyone in chat seen day. promotional in stuff bonus? about uh, Disney Stop. Dreamlight Valley? <gasps> I saw that Little Simsy Down had streamed a little bit of early Rimia. access to it. It looks really good. Tibonahu like, the animation space. and the character creator looks uh -huh. surprisingly <laughs> put together. Yes. The Disney race game. Is it a race game? I thought that it was, um, I was gonna say an MMORPG, which technically I guess it is. It is a multiplayer online game. Um, it's cute! It looks cute! I bookmarked it. I need to look into it. Huh? Yeah, I'm definitely thinking of looking into it. Uh, it comes out the day after my birthday. Uh, it's called Disney Dreamlight Valley. Put that in the chat. Maybe we talk about different things. We could be talking about different things for sure, Annex. Um, let me also go grab Miss Valentina, put her to bed. Come on, sweet little baby. Let's pick you up, put you to bed. Uh, there's gonna, oh yes, they are going to do a live action Pinocchio. Yep. And Tom Hanks is Geppetto. Tom Hanks is going to be P Pinocchio's dad, I think. Put Valentina to bed. Good job. Okay, that did help with Diego's fun need. Uh, we are talking about different things. I had another advertisement on Instagram 
for a Disney racing game. Huh. Like a Mario Kart type of thing, Annex? They are going ham with trying to get into the video game. Whoa, 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 hold on a second. <gasps> Who the fuck are you? May Prescott, you have made a dangerous enemy. She kicked over our garbage can? I'm waking Noah up. He's gonna go kick her ass. Come on, Noah, get up. Let's go. Noah, Noah, come on. No! She has despawned. Okay, well, now we know who is coming here and kicking over our trash can. Um, I am going to roll up to her house and destroy her. Um, Guillermo del Toro is coming out with an adaptation of Pinocchio for Netflix. Much excited. I am so excited about that one. For sure. Okay, I wasn't going to say anything, but, like, we've had, I think, three Pinocchio adaptations coming out. There's the really, really, really bad one where he's got, um... Oh, the voice actor for one of Max Goofy's friends. I'm blanking on the guy's name, but the commercial, he's like, But father, when can I go out and be on my own? I have so much world to see. And it's a terrible but phenomenal vocal performance. So there's that one. Then there's the Disney Pinocchio. But Del Toro's Pinocchio, he's been working on it for years. I think it's like at least four or five years of development. Ewan McGregor is going to be voicing Jiminy Cricket. The animation on it for him to be a true, like, wooden carving. He look. I'm really excited. That is the one I'm most excited about. For sure. Easily. Yeah, I, I was triggered by May Prescott coming up into my house and kicking things over. Yeah, the... <laughs> even just the little teaser trailer of the Del Toro Pinocchio where it's Ewan McGregor's Jiminy Cricket as an old cricket sitting in a tree and being like, I'm going to tell you the story of the little wooden boy. I'm so excited about it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, we, yes, we did it. We did. We made friends. Good. Okay. Althea, go home. I'm going to bed. That only took all day. It has the juice. I can't imagine a more wonderful thing. Okay. Excellent. 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 We fixed our friendship. We are going to have to start being way more attentive. Um. I'm surprised that Charity hasn't had... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hold on. Hold on. I just have to make sure that I have it set to alert us when a baby is born. Because I'm being like, why hasn't Charity had her baby yet? Why hasn't Charity had her baby? And I have to go make sure that she didn't have the baby and that the game didn't just tell us. Yikes. I've been promising this baby to Ava for forever. Ay, 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 ay. Um, while we do that, while we're loading up to go check on Charity and the mayor, the mayor, the mayor, not the mail, um, join us in a picnic. We're going to go on a picnic. It is our community's version of heisting. To join us, all you have to do is go exclamation mark, picnic, space, and then any amount of points up to 10,000. We made friends just uh, like my past as a kid when I started making friends in kindergarten. Oh, coffee. Please don't have had the baby. Please don't have had... God damn it, she had the baby. Okay, well, Ava, if you'd like to claim that baby, we're going to load in there, uh, and I will rename it. So, Amira, um, and I know that Noe was probably lurking as well. Picnicking is our community's version of heisting. All you have to do... All you have to do to join us on this little picnic heist mini game thing is go exclamation mark picnic space and then enter any amount of points up to 10,000. Because you're a little newer to chat, you might not have that amount of points. I'd recommend betting 100 to 1,000. I think you get 300 for following. Shall I click my claim button? Yes, absolutely, Ava. Click that claim button. We're going to see if they had a boy or a girl and I'm going to age them up to a toddler.
and we will name them whatever you decide. I'm sorry, I was like, why is this taking so long? It was taking forever because I didn't have MCC set up to tell us when a, a playable baby was born. That's on me. I'm not getting points in the picnic, let me jinx it, for real. Okay, uh, so right now it is a little boy named Marshall. So, Ava, please pitch us your boy name. Let's go age him up. <laughs> this is a busy household. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, this is an incredibly full household. It is a household of eight that Charity now has. Oh, only packed enough sandwiches for half the chat. It's going to be Ava, Annex, Poppy, Dino, and Sim. I think that's everyone but me. Okay, this is going to be Adrian. Adrian Rice. That's a cute name. That's a really cute Got name. Okay. Not oh, and he's fussy just like Valentina. <laughs> Phenomenal. Um cast dot full edit mode. Did I ever tell you all about the first time we were playing decades and uh someone I was related to? I didn't have MCC set up to tell me that they were having a baby. And so they had their baby and I went in, checked to see what the baby was named, and the game automatically named them Star in like 1903. <laughs> Mitzel Terrible. Nelson Munt's voice. <laughs> the game that I meant is called Disney Speedstorm. It's coming out this year with no set date. Fascinating annex. My good luck ran out with Streamlabs. Oh shit. Yeah, Thrifty, evidently both you and I uh, lost out on picnic points that time. At least we were together. Okay, this is going to be Adrian. Adrian Rice. Soulmates, if they get together, there's gonna be drama. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Honestly, picking a, um, a charity baby to uh, claim is a smart move on Ava's part because like he's basically the same age as Miss Valentina um he's like their moms are best friends this is someone I could see being in the challenge for a little while um precious child he's he's a little bean little bean baby boy oh okay and we have <gasps> I have the cutest little thing to put him in. Hold on a second. The little gentleman mayor of Strangerville. Oh, look at this boy! It is little onesie! I'm gonna scream. I gotta go. Have a great rest of the stream, everyone. Have a good one, Annex. Enjoy your supper. Um, see you later, bud. He's a handsome little bean. He's a handsome little bean! Absolutely! And the other thing that's fun is that this handsome little bean is going to be exempt from World War I. He's too little. So, uh, no chance of him dying in World War I, which is helpful. Um, yes, goodbye, Annex. Have a great time. Um... Uh, my hubby told me I was sexist yesterday because I was all upset that my sims had a boy. I don't want to have to play a spouse to have a baby. It's too much work. Right? Yeah. Yeah, honestly. We... I don't think it's sexist. I, I have said more than once over here, um, having boys in the game is a little disappointing to me. Boys have fewer assets, like, regardless of what age range you're playing with them at. And I think, um, you know, there are more fun assets to play with for, uh, female sims. Or, you know, um, if you're using the gendered options, right? That sort of thing. Girls are more fun. But... When it's outside of our household, I'm like, I'm down. I'm down to get some boys. I mean, the states only joined the war in the last year, so shrug. Yes, okay, so this, I was doing a little bit of uh, research on it, Zem. When the states join in the last year, um, 
of World War One. I. I believe they um, they draft eighteen to forty. And I think Noah is going to be 42. So Noah narrowly avoided it. But, but um, within the last couple months of the war, they changed the draft to age, I think, 45, which means both Diego and Noah are going to be drafted in the last year of the war, which is, it's gonna be a bit of a shakeup, right? Um, I had the rolls go really, really well last time. We're going to see if that luck holds out for us. Um, okay, Ava, one last question about your sweet little baby boy. His dad has glasses. Do you want baby boy to have glasses? Yes or no? I think they're really cute. Yes, okay, okay, okay. We're going to give this boy some glasses. Give my boy the juice. Isn't he a cutie with these little, the little spectacles? Oh, yeah. This, this is a, this is a sim. I'm going to be excited to see more of, and I can tell he looks a bit like his mom already. This is a cute boy. You picked a good one. You picked a very good one. Oh, sweet little man. Okay. Um. So we're gonna load back out, I think, um, and then load back back into the main household, uh, let them all sleep and stuff. <laughs> and then it's going to be Winterfest, which is especially exciting. Um, Noah has not made anything to give people. Um, <laughs> So I think Noah might be giving produce out. It feels like quite a dad thing to do, to be like, an avocado, thanks. Um, but someone's got to do it. Okay, and he wants to ask Cherubi. Oh, that's cute. Diego might lose a part of him during the war. That's what my ball is telling me. Ooh, okay, coffee. I... I am worried. I'm worried. Um, with last decades, right? Could he make jam for gifts? He could make jam. I think so. Yeah, Ava, I think you're right. Because anytime you give a homemade gift, it defaults to that's my jam. He could absolutely make some jam. We, we might be working on some Christmas jam. <laughs> um, okay, we're going to load into the house and everybody's going to be doing their stuff. We're gonna be right, right back. I'm just gonna quickly run to the washroom and have a bio break. Remember to hydrate. See you in a minute. Hello there, Amira. Marjorie's pregnant. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Marjorie's pregnant and extremely, extremely tired. She's thinking babies, must be thinking babies. Uh, we are expecting we're going to have to go to sleep. It looks like I am the jerk who uh, messed up with needs by just leaving the game unpaused. Welcome in this low key family. <laughs> yep, they are absolutely a busy, busy bunch. Um, though we have been spacing out the children far better than we did last decades. We are we're doing better. Ah, uh, yes, perfect. Dad is going to give milk to everyone for Christmas. Perfect. You're going to need a bigger house soon. Right? Honestly, it's getting to that point. Um, Diego, go to bed, baby. I figure what will probably happen is um, when Valentina, right? Valentina is going to be here in the little, uh, the toddler nursery for a while. Uh, baby will join her there. And then depending on whether or not new baby is a boy or a girl, um, we'll probably turn this into a second bedroom, right? So two will sleep here, two can sleep here if we end up having four kids. We thought this out. It's going to be tight. Toit like a toyga. <laughs> I, okay. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't tell stream about this. 
Um, over the weekend, we were watching Austin Powers Gold Member, and it was my my mom's first time seeing it. <laughs> if you've ever seen Gold Member, the way that it opens is so silly. Um, it opens with like a fake Hollywood movie adaptation of Austin Powers, where Austin is played by Tom Cruise, and um, the female main is played by um, Gwyneth Paltrow. Um, Dr. Evil is played by Kevin Spacey, and Minnie Me is played by Danny DeVito. And, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, baby! baby. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, we were watching that, and Flamma was just like, Tom Cruise is Austin Powers? She was very confused by it. It was phenomenal. But, um,. <laughs> gold member really he was he was making us all laugh quite a lot and so this morning um i think flamma tried to do a gold member impression where um she said um faja she was like austin powers faja and this was great and so then my response to that was toit loiga toiga <laughs> stupid and um <laughs> i i love my mom because um i'll say something stupid like that and instead of saying oh that was incredibly stupid she gives me praise and adoration which is definitely my love language so she was like oh that was really good i'm very impressed <laughs> huh? toit like a toy <laughs> I, uh, yeah, my brain just turned to mush. Oh, we love Flamma. We stand Flamma. Did you see the new Sims challenges? I did the one with aliens kidnapping the parents, and the teen has to take care of the child and complete the challenge. I did a new family for it. Yes, coffee. Um, I have seen the scenarios. I honestly have not played any scenarios. I just like. I think scenarios are probably good and like really, really approachable for um, like newer players or players who maybe aren't used to playing with challenges or whatever. Um, but since I'm playing decades and that's like all I play in The Sims lately, I was like, oh, I'm good. I, I you know, this alien challenge, it's not gonna, not gonna suit my, my play style. Um, let's weed all. Dad is up really early. He's definitely going to get the jump on uh, Harvest Fest. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Emily Chickenson's getting on in years. This poor old foal. Uh, hope there's a few pets left till the Reaper comes for a visit. We are going to have to... We are going to absolutely um, have to sell her before Christmas. Guys, um, I don't... I don't want the Grim Reaper. I don't want the Grim Reaper coming to the house. That is like a worst case scenario for me. Um, you know what another worst case scenario would be is if Marjorie has more than one baby. More choices, open this up. Or, uh, uh, yeah, exactly, have an upsetty Noah. I'm gonna have to send Noah to go sell things. Oh, we've got morning sickness again. Honestly, that could mean we're having another girl. Um, because Diego, we didn't have any morning sickness. And then Valentina, it was just like tons of it. Yeah, multiples at this point would devastate me. Imagine. Imagine I get triplets in the oh. first generation oh, of decades Jacksonville. for a second time. Um, let me check on Pickles. He's he's motoring. Oh shit, I didn't want to Simstagram him. No. I will gladly take this photo though. I, I love this boy. This is probably last child. Yeah, probably last child. God, what an iconic little man. Phenomenal. Otherwise, everyone will be related to us again. Yep. I've been thinking we could do probably three or four children. Um, and we can always adopt one if we want to have another. Um, weed all. Let me weed. 
Yes, but we're certainly not going to have seven children like we did last time. That was a mess. <laughs> and who knows, right? Like with Diego um, going to participate in World War One, I, I don't know if, because he's going to be quite young. I think he's just meeting the draft. I think he's going to be 18 or 19 when the draft hits. So, like, he's going to be a little too young to even have a baby. We're just going to see how that goes. Sweet home. Yeah, yeah, coffee, truly. I'm not sure. I really don't know which uh, quote it is, but the fact that there is a quote out there that basically says, the majority of my job is making sure we don't do incest. <sighs> Decades. And then let's scatter a little bit more feed. Um, we'll clean out the coop. I feel like because it's Christmas, Dad was really like, no, 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 I'll take care of some of these things. We'll let Diego sleep in. Slightly dirty, clean shed, uh, refill the feed. Okay, and then Marjorie, we're working on our fun. We're going to have a, a little concert right now. Also, you know, while we've got chat here, um, let me ask you a question, right? Um, yes, okay, Winterfest has clicked through. Um, I love Weasel Time as a club. <laughs> Imagine if that had been the right quote, though, Coffee. Um, so... I, I have a work thing happening, right? And um, I'm basically done the work thing and it's going to be submitted and I have two of the three signatures I need. It's just my supervisor who hasn't signed it officially, but she did sign off on it in an email. She was like, yes, I approve. This is ready to go in. But she's notoriously bad at replying to emails. How? How? Do we have recommendations on how I would get her to sign this thing? I want it to go in today. It should just be done. Um, okay, no, my guy. Do not go, don't get the house trash. Um, okay. And then mom will go upstairs, brush teeth, and probably get back in bed for a little bit. She was up in the middle of the night. Oh, frickin' Timothy. Let me milk clam. Weird thing to say. Yeah, so it's quite literally. It, it is um, from Dino's um, like tarot reading. I'm pretty sure my supervisor being inattentive is the Three of Wands, where it's like, this is the thing holding me back. At every pass, it's just that she's not answering her emails. Uh-huh. Send her a message reminding her you're still waiting on her signature. As soon as that's done, it's ready to go. That's a really, really good point. Thank you. Yeah. I um, I don't want it to seem, like, overbearing, right? Because, like, all of the other people, when they've signed, have just forwarded the email and been like, Okay, we're ready for you. And she's the only one we're waiting on. Uh, let's feed filet mignon. I have thought... Because sometimes, right, the best way to get her attention is actually to just message her on Twitter. <laughs> refill the feed, refill feed. Okay, good, 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 good. Marjorie's back in bed. Diego, let's get you up, baby boy. Attach a copy of the signed document. That's, yeah, hot tip. Thank you there, Amira. Yeah, I think I will do that. Um, as soon as we get off of stream, that's the plan. Um, because I just want it in. It's ready. Over the weekend, she signed off on it, you know, um, via email where she was like, yes, I approve. This is ready. All she had to do. And it's not even like she has to print the document off to sign it. All she needs to do is put an e-signature on it. I could put the e-signature on it and submit it, but that's fraud. <laughs> it's, I think... Uh, such an annoying thing. It's such a small scale thing, right? Because like it's done. Everybody knows it's done, but 
it can't go in until it has that signature. Um, okay, we're feeling good. We're feeling toit like a toyga. Um, we will shear Cusco, clean him off, and feed him. Uh -huh. I definitely want to start playing around with the uh, the llama wool colors. Oh my god, this is another guy! Uh, message her and call her to inform her right away or go to her and ask to sign in person. See, the tricky thing about that, Coffee, is that um, we're not back in our office until, like, next week. Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking um, I'll definitely do the email, and if I don't have anything this evening from her, I'll just message her on Twitter again. It's like, come on, this is the last thing. Okay, you got asked on a date, go for it. Absolutely. I am ready for Rosalie to get set up and stop calling us about potential boyfriends. Um, clean this up. And let's get little baby boy out on the farm as well. Um, we should probably give a little bit of attention to the chickies. Grab things, scatter feed. I think what could be really, really cute is maybe Noah will take Diego in to Henford on Bagley with him to go sell things, right? Stalker mode, just kidding. No, for real, for real. It absolutely is. The last big career milestone that I had as well, right? It was very much the same thing where... I had spent like two weeks back and forth doing emails with the other two people on my committee. Um, and we just needed my supervisor to pay attention and respond. And she freaking just ghosted. And, you know, because she ghosted and because I didn't reach out to her on Twitter, it was reaching out on Twitter that got her attention. Um, because she ghosted, I wasn't able... Oh, what's happening? Bobby. Hold on, we're having a problem. Uh, it's just morning sickness. Fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. If you need, yeah, go use the bathroom. You're Bobby. fine. Barobi. You're fine, Marjorie. This is okay. Um, I'm back. I'm gonna play some two point hospital, so I'll be lurking. No problem, Twitchy Squirrel. That sounds so good. Um, send mom What's back downstairs. Move? Play a little bit more. A little bit more violin. Okay, everybody's being fed. Cusco fed. Um, yeah, everything's good. Everything's great. Let's refill the feed over here in the sheds, please. Your dad was supposed to do that, but I guess he didn't. Clean that up. And then I'll have baby boy do a little bit of weeding. Noah. Yes. So with Two Point Hospital, I've never played it. I remember Zem trying to set up a uh, a Two Point Hospital stream over on the Games Benedict channel. Um, I do know though that Two Point they just released Two Point University, I think, or Two Point Campus. It's very much the Sims 4 Discover University version of Two Point Hospital. Um, okay, and Diego has his responsibility. Good job! Yeah, he's doing really, really well with responsibility, and I think he's gonna get emotional control, too. Okay, evidently what the problem is, is that I have put these things together. So that I could interact with my cow. But now I can't refill the shed. Let me see if I can refill the shed now. Just by moving it a little tiny bit. How about now? Storm of flame. Oh, no, not you, Diego. Sorry, baby. Dad, can you clean it now? Just finished eating. I've been slow lately. Eating slow is good. You're being mindful. Love that. Uh, icky plumbing. Okay. 
And little Miss Valentina is awake. I'm going to send mom to go attend to her. Give Valentina a bath. Uh, she's hungry, so that's really going to be the next thing. Oh, and she's very stinky. Okay, let's actually... Let's change Valentina's diaper first. Truly a stinky queen through and through. She did nothing but poop as a toddler. She's doing, or as a baby, and doing nothing but pooping as a toddler. Phenomenal. Um, Valentina, a bath. Somehow it did not let me change her diaper, so I will have to make sure we do that too. Miss Valentina, stop. Hold on. Wait a second. Toddler, change diaper. Mm, man, coffee, again, I'm so envious of what you were eating. Everything sounds so good. Is that a bird? It's a bird on the ground. That's so cute. Um, Let me see if I can go use the Vitality Fertilizer or anything. Noah can do it. Great. Let's have um, the Fertilize. We'll use some Vitality. Takes me half an hour or 40 minutes. That's my Stinky Valentina. <laughs> we love a Stinky Valentina, it's true. It's corn, a big lump of knobs. It has the juice. Oh, Marjorie's having a really, really bad winter fest. Between the morning sick like sickness, being soaked by Valentina. Oh yo 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 yo. Yeah, things a little bit rough up here. Ah, uh, me. I'm gonna I think help them out by teleporting Valentina downstairs. Table Gusha. Um and giving her food that way. This little lady. Teleport down here, Valentina. Don't get stuck between the floors of the house. Thank you. Good job. Let's grab a little bit of breakfast, babe. How much fish? We have five days or five of the fish left, so we should probably have that as our Christmas meal. Um, I know that fish maybe is not a great Christmas meal, but this is fine. This is fine. Um... Yeah, we're grabbing food. Marjorie's gonna be okay. I might honestly let her brush her teeth, right? Um, let's talk to our dad, right? He, um, we've not been super attentive of Diego, and like Diego has been nothing but a good boy. Let's milk. Let me see. We have sheared the wool. Um, can we grab some eggs, baby? Yes, we can. Okay. The two of them are gonna grab everything out of there, get ready to go to the market. And then Marjorie, she needs some fun. I'm trying to think about what would be fun for Marjorie. Honestly, here's the thing. Is Marjorie probably developing Christmas presents for both the children, for both her and Noah to give the, them? Yeah, honestly, probably. Very much, you know, what my mom would do. I think my father bought my siblings and I each a total of one Christmas present ever, where he was the mastermind of it. Otherwise, it was always my mom had done it. It's corn. Ooh, okay. We have golden eggs, a couple hatchable, and a couple normal eggs. Great. Pop these over into Noah's inventory. Um, and then we'll have Diado scatter a little bit more feed for them. Oh, uh, freaking eco expector. Again, we'll play with the horse. Valentina's skills are definitely going up a little slower than Diego's, which, I mean, this is, this is the pain of being the middle child, right? She doesn't even know that a new baby is coming and that she's not going to be the adorable, perfect baby, you know, she's not going to be the baby of the family forever. She's going to be like me, 
a jaded middle child. Um, let me grab everything else out of the cupboard. We also have to pay our bills. Okay, um, we are going to sell... I think we'll keep those eggs, but we'll take the milk out with us. Um, we'll take the pumpkin spice milk. I wonder if I could just give jam out of my refrigerator to my children for Christmas, or like the chocolate egg. I'll have to see if there is another chocolate egg that we can give them. Um, nine days on that pumpkin. Okay. Yeah, everything else is good. Looks like we're all set otherwise, and we'll give those 19 piles of wool to Noah to sell. Excellent. Wonderful. Good job, baby boy. Is he leftover food in here? Noah, what's happening in your inventory, my guy? Household, we're also going to pay the bills. And then we will take Diego to the market with us. This is a treat. Now I've got stock meat on my teeth. Stock meat. Oh, from stock. Okay. That makes sense. Took me a second there. I had to follow you, Coffee. You're fighting with it. That's so annoying. That always happens to me with popcorn kernels. No matter what I do, one of them is going to get in there. It's an absolute nightmare. Everybody, yeah, everybody suffers. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to save, and then we are going to head into Henford on Bagley, sell some things at the market. We'll take Diego with us. Um, you know, a little treat. We're teaching him the business. He's proving that he's responsible. He's able to do his chores. Diego might not be the favorite child, but I think he is my favorite child. Um, he's really, really good. Like, I remember... Um, first decades, right? I would always want Edward and Percy and... Um, Oh shit, Thomas. Edward, Percy, and Thomas. I would always want them to help Albert with the, um, they had a little kitchen garden, right? So nowhere near as large as the scale of having a full farm because they were just in a little Victorian townhome. Um, but we didn't even have the option for Sims, like Sim children, to help gardening at that point. So much has changed in the game between, um, first decades and starting second. So I'm excited about it. No problem. Coffee? I gotcha. You meant stuck. You got it stuck. <sighs> oh, also, just while I have you here, um, stream schedule is a little different this week and next week. Um, so today and tomorrow are going to be our stream <laughs> days, and we're going to be offline on Thursday, um, with everyone at my work heading back to work, right? Um, there is, like, a big orientation for anyone who's new, um, and I have been asked to go to both oh, of the heart. orientation uh, sessions. Um, I have French. some some grad student buddies who are going to be um like introduced to the school so i have to hang out with them on the first day um and then on the second day um i got asked to speak at um one of the sessions about you know organizing tutorials and marking and everything and i'm really excited about that um so we are just online today and tomorrow this week and then next week, um, on the Monday, it's going to be my birthday. So we're also going to do a birthday stream um, that might just be normal decades. It might also be Jackbox. It might also be a little bit of playing around with Disney Dreamlight Valley. Cute. Um, but we are going to be offline for the entirety of next week after birthday stream. Um, the first week back on campus, especially with teaching and stuff, it's really, really busy. Usually you have to meet with like supervising professors and everything and get stuff worked out. And I'm also going to be driving William to and from school. So I want to get a sense of what that looks like. 
and um, hopefully by the second week of September uh, we'll be back to normal. I'll have a better idea of stream schedule and everything. I think it is possible to maintain stream schedule, but <laughs> I don't want to promise anything till I know for sure. Thank you, Zem. Yeah, I'm really, really excited about it. Um, I've honestly maybe never been as excited to be back on campus as I feel right now. I um, I'm excited. Oh, we're gonna talk to a strange man. Cool. Love to see that happen. Where is he coming from? Where's the strange man? Like, he's definitely up there. Chat. But with who? Are you crazy? Oh, it's Agnes. Gee, okay, she's not gonna let us. Well, let's see what she's selling. See if there's anything we can give for Christmas. Animal party treat. Mmm. Some jam. Ooh, Calberry jam. That's expensive. Get some custard. Maybe give that to the kids. Um, lettuce conserve. Can you imagine if for Christmas he gives his wife lettuce conserve? <sniffs> um, starter flowers, strawberry jam, no place like gnome. That's cute. Um, watermelon conserve, white llama wool. Thank you, coffee. Thank you. I, I appreciate wishing luck. I'm excited for the term. Um, the class that I'm going to be uh, teaching, um, we've got a really, really good syllabus. We're doing uh, British romantic uh, novels. So we're doing Jane Austen's Persuasion, which is really topical because Netflix just released a, uh, a new adaptation of it. Um, we're doing Persuasion. We're doing Frankenstein, uh, a book called... Um, I think Diary of an English Opium Eater, right? <laughs> there's there's a lot of fun stuff on the horizon. Um, shit. I was hoping that they would have a second chocolate egg so I'd be able to give my daughter a chocolate egg. But they don't. Okay, I'm going to leave the two of them here quickly. Go back over to Marjorie so that Marjorie can sell Emily Chickenson. Though, theoretically... Okay, I'm gonna put a poll in chat. I'm gonna need you to help me. Um, are we selling Emily Chickenson? Or are we turning her into Winterfest dinner? Chicken pot pie. Or cash. <laughs> Please let us know what you would prefer we do with Emily Chickenson. This is going to be a super short two minute poll. Let's go. Let's go. So far, I have not traded. I've not traded chickens for produce. I've only traded them for money. Are we trading this chicken to get Christmas dinner produce or are we going to get like 200 simoleons from her? Let me know what you think we should do. <laughs> Mom is going to go back to um, working on this bunny sculpture. And Miss Valentina is already downstairs. Let me send her out. Oh, phenomenal! Marjorie has already finished. Um, perfect, wonderful, beautiful Marjorie, my queen, my light. Uh, we'll craft another sculpture. I think we can make... No! Althea Allen thinks Valentina is swell and wants to become best friends. You're an adult, she's a baby. I think we can say yes right now, but weird. Um, craft sculpture. We will make a little, I think, dragon sculpture for Diego. Just want to have a little bit of something for everybody. And we can talk to this stranger who is seemingly now our best friend. Um, let me see, did we get a sentiment with her? We're deeply connected, despite not really knowing each other. She's listed as both a best friend and a stranger. I think what could be fun, right, is maybe in trying to reconnect with Althea, um, Noah and Marjorie said, oh, well, we'll make you Valentina's godmother. 
We'll see. Okay, there's a couple seconds left. Are we going to have Christmas dinner? Are we going to make a pot pie? Or are we going to sell chicken for cash? Cash. Okay. Okay, let me see what those votes were. It was close. It was really, really close between cash or chicken pot pie. But we're going to have chicken pot pie. Headline. Or no, we're going to have cash. Headline effects off. I just want to get a picture of this cutie. Look at her. Look at her there in the little chair. I love this little baby. Oh, she's cute. Okay. We'll be able to send mom to go do that. Althea, you cannot go upstairs. That is so rude. It is totally uncalled for. Get out of there. And I think we can play with the little horse toy that we have in our inventory. It's corn. It's horse. A big horse with knobs. It has the juice. It has the juice. I can't imagine a more wonderful thing. Okay. Emily Chickenson, we love you. Let me go take these clothes from you. Beautiful, wonderful yellow chicky. And uh, we're going to sell her before Noah gets home. Otherwise, he is going to be devastated. This is probably the smallest bump we've had to date. But we are still in first trimester. Okay. A little bit of love. We'll socialize. We will pet her. We'll hug her. And then it is time for her to go. Pretty sure he'll find out and be mad. He's not here. He is off the lot. I am hoping. I'm hoping there is no way. There's no way he's going to know. How would they know? Actions. Trade for simoleons. Emily Chickenson, I need you to wake up. Come on. I know we don't want to go. Headline effects on. It really seems like nobody wants her to go. Like, everybody is sort of coming in here. Gotta, we gotta get you out of here, babe. I can't, I can't have you dying on the lot on Christmas and summoning the Grim Reaper here. It would devastate my children. And now we have an outfit for Marie Chicky. How's everybody else doing? We can milk. Can we shear? We can shear. Clean full. Half. Fine. We will refill the feed here. And as soon as those simoleons come in, Noah can come home. Kids are going to say something. Diego's with him. Valentina is the only one at home right now. How would she tell him she doesn't even know how to talk? She doesn't know how to talk, Coffee. We're fine. Okay, babe, go up the stairs on your own. You don't need mom's help. Yeah, yeah, you're okay. Go on the stairs on your own. It's corn. A big hunk with knobs. It has the juice. It has the juice. Can't imagine a more wonderful thing. Okay, we're doing great otherwise, though. Miss Valentina's gonna go upstairs very slowly. She's intending to use the potty, but I don't... Yeah, she doesn't have the skill to do it yet. Damn, damn, damn. Is Emily Chickenson? Emily Chickenson, what are you doing here still? Emily Chickenson, I need you to go. I need you to go, Emily Chickenson. You gotta go. Noah's gonna be home soon. It's almost time for Christmas dinner. If she became dinner, she would always stay with you. Oh, coffee. Oh my goodness. Okay, Emily Chickenson, we gotta go. We gotta go. Shoopy and Irma Lou. Oh. Gotta go. Kids. Scatter feed. Is that pickles? Yeah, it's pickles out there on the other side of the lot. That's so cute. Oh my god. She's still not gone. She came back to eat. <laughs> Emily! <laughs> Emily Chickenson, I need you to go. Emily! Emily, go! 
Let's go. The chicky must go. Get out of here. Get out of here. Or the Grim Reaper's gonna get ya. Let's go. <laughs> Chicken, please go. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, we should be okay now. Fuck. I grew up with a lot of dark humor coffee. It was definitely my dad's preferred type of comedy. Oh, Diego's home. I don't know why Diego is home. I'm just lucky Noah didn't come home. Um, I'm also, I, there's no reason. There is zero reason why Noah should have incredibly low energy. I'm just going to do a little cheat. Just going to do a tiny little cheat. Clean things up. Get us ready for Krima. Let's go. Bum, ba, da, da, da. It has the juice. It has the juice. Um, we have nothing that we can give. Uh, Valentina has nothing to give. Mom just used the bathroom so we can help Valentina with the potty. And then I think Noah could invite over Marjorie's parents for Christmas. Um, <laughs> Home. It's. I find it really, really, really confusing to find things again. Um, invite to hang out. Yes. Let's invite over Magdalena and Lorenzo, grandparents. They can meet um, Valentina. They can see Diego. Have a nice little Christmas time. We are going to give Diego some custard. Yeah. Cool. Some custard for our beloved little baby Diego. Arpenor. Here, don't tell your grandparents oh, I'm giving you a sweet. <laughs> and he can immediately enjoy that. <laughs> Eat that custard, baby boy. Uh, Dad, let's go invite in the in-laws, I guess. Magdalena went somewhere. Um in a group. Lorenzo, let's add to group. Form group with everybody. And then we can come sit in here. Let's go. Let's sit together. Marjorie, go up here. And I'm going to make sure that we're giving the dragon and the bunny sculpture. Yeah. Want okay. fresh? Give those to dad. Because then we have three things that we can give people. Um, Diego doesn't have to give any presents. He just gets to open them. Open a present from any gift pile. Ah, oh, well, you know, actually, we have enough money that we could get a gift pile. We have enough money. We can absolutely get a gift pile. I like the idea of the handmade gifts. It's cute. We've got the money to do a gift pile. Like, this is almost unheard of. I don't even think Constance and Albert had 22,000 simoleons saved up um, in 1901. Oops. Yeah. Here we go. I don't know why. Why would you not just link over to gift? Um, seasons, seasons came with the gift pile. Pile of presents, large, a hundred and fifty simoleons for a large pile of presents. That's what we're gonna do, babe. Why not? Um, oh, honestly, thinking about Victorian Christmas presents always makes me think about that sequence in Lady and the Tramp. Oh, where Darling just opens it up and inside's a beautiful little baby Cocker Spaniel absolutely melts my heart. I think it's so sweet. Oh. Um. Bring Diego on down here. Um, sit down. Chat with your grandparents. Eat your custard. Um, we're gonna wait 
her mom to get Valentina off the, the toilet. <laughs> and then we can all open presents together. Have Noah chat with mother and father-in-law. I remember Zem was headcanoning that Lorenzo is gay. I really do love that. Winterfest gift. We could actually give him... Um, we have two blue jay feathers. I think we'll give him the dragon sculpture. And then we can give Magdalena one of those blue jay feathers. Headline. Effects off. Always nice to get some family photos. A frosh. How about a hug with our father-in-law? No? Nothing? Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Oh! And Marjorie is down here. We could probably chat with our dad, give him a hug. We're happy to see him. Um, friendly. Let's see if we can do anything. Complain about Winterfest? Absolutely not. Um, sing about Winterfest would be sweet. And Valentina has made her way down. Good. Excellent. Let's open up these presents, right? We'll sing together. Um, yeah, Fruitage Lang Sign, I think we'll do together. Everybody get ready to sing. Let's go. Flam sings singing? Flam sims singing? Unheard of. Okay, come on, Sims, let's sing. Let's go. I think Noah's got a very low voice. <laughs> the freezing and just moving for a sec. <laughs> Chef's kiss. It's very wholesome. I agree, Ava. And now we can open presents. Everybody gets to open presents. This is the good time. Sweet little baby boy Diego. Let's go. Present time, baby. Um, for some reason, we stopped. Open presents, let's go. Oh, she wants to do something with her mom. Be friendly with her mom, absolutely. Okay, Diego is opening his Christmas present. He got a Rex Trex. Okay, mom. We got one 2,000 ounces of gold under the sea. I wonder what that is. I've never heard of that. 2,000 ounces of gold under the sea. Um, be friendly with our mom. It's her turn next to open something up. Um. Oh. <laughs> little baby Valentina opening her present. I wonder what Valentina just got. Okay, and here goes Noah's. Was it bad? Noah got a carrot! <laughs> Who would give one carrot as a gift? Noah isn't particularly happy about this. <laughs> oh, phenomenal. Oh, excellent, 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 excellent. I love that. We Let me see if I can give... No, we cannot give the custard to Valentina. So we're just going to eat it ourselves. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh. Hug lovingly. Um, and then I'll make sure Marjorie gives both of the kids the presents she made for them. Oh, that was very sweet. Okay, we have 
a little white ceramic llama for Diego. Sibling hug is incredibly precious, I agree. And then give gift, friendly gift. Um, we're gonna give the little mint turtle to Valentina. Present. Okay. Let me just, I wanna get a cute shot. I wish I had one with the present, that's okay. This is fine. Um, Diego, if you're gonna take a seat, you can chat with your grandma. Respectful introduction, indeed, sweet boy. Friendly, respectful introduction. And then, oh, we can pass something on to grandma. Sure, let's give grandma a chocolate berry. They work with the chickens, why wouldn't they work with grandma? <laughs> Um, ask about her day. And then we will give a little hug to our sweet Valentina. Nima. Meanwhile, oh, Daddy, yeah. Daddy can chat with Grandpa. Yaba. This is sweet. I am, I'm very, very, very pleased about it. Um, we do have a Winterfest gift for, um, for Noah. We're going to give him the hoop eggs and milk. And in return, Noah has been holding on to the baby onesie. So we're going to give that as well. But we could give her the mysterious box. Let's do mysterious box. And if it doesn't work out so well, then we'll give her the baby onesie. Okay, let's get a little pick. This is so sweet. Love to see it. Um, the lighting, not particularly good from that angle, but that's okay. Okay. Oops, I hit video. This is fine. This is fine. Everything's good. Everything's great. Everything's good and great and fine. Okay, and is Noah going to give her the mysterious box? Give Winterfest gift mysterious box? I need to know what's in the mysterious box. I'm glad we've been holding on to it. Let's also talk about toys with our grandpa. It's Christmas! Enthuse about candy. Right? We, we're having a time. Phenomenal. Okay. Um, and I might have Noah put that in his inventory cleanup. Oh, jeez, look at the time. It is. It's basically 1 a.m. in The Sims. That's been quite, quite a holiday. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> honestly, honestly, I think that could be a really good place to leave it, even though it's a little early. Um, I think that's going to do it for us today. I, you know, I've always, I always enjoy streams. This was a really, really sweet, extremely wholesome time. And I'm so glad that we were able to have it together. Um, I hope the rest of your day is great. We're going to be back online tomorrow at one o'clock EST. And we're going to be able to uh, hang out in Dino stream tomorrow evening uh, to watch the finale of the Bachelor Challenge. So definitely, definitely be there for that. That's going to be great. Have a great rest of your day, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Bye.